this story took place last summer. I live by myself in a small house, and it's in a pretty big neighborhood where the houses are sort of close together, so I get to know most of my neighbors. The house next door to me to the west was for sale, and finally somebody bought it. I saw that a middle-aged guy moved into the house, but beyond that, I didn't know much. As the time went by after that, the guy seemed sort of creepy and elusive. He always had an angry look on his face and rarely came outside. When he did, he would just sort of stand outside and look around or get his mail. I tried to have conversations with him a couple of times to be friendly, but they were quickly shut down. For the most part, I just tried to give the guy his privacy and figured he just liked to be alone. Then one night, I woke up at 3 a.m. and was very thirsty. I went into my kitchen to get some water. As I did, I noticed that the neighbor was outside, sort of between my house and his, and seemed to be pacing back and forth. This was strange to see as it was the middle of the night. The guy then went back inside and came out less than a minute later. He then looked up at me and we made eye contact. The man looked really surprised and then walked quickly back inside. It felt really awkward to me that he had seen me staring at him. I went back to bed, but by the next day I had forgotten all about it. I didn't see the man at all that day. The next night, I once again awoke at 3 o'clock in the morning. This time, I wasn't as thirsty though. I sat up in bed and looked at the time, then I rolled back over to my other side to get some more sleep. But as soon as I laid down, I heard a noise. It was a very small noise of something touching my window, I then sat back up again. I listened closely, and it sounded like there was a light tapping coming from my bedroom window. Then came a noise which was much louder than the others. I reached for my light switch and turned my light on. It revealed a silhouette of a man coming from behind the blinds outside my bedroom window. Whoever it was quickly ran away and went out of sight. I got up and walked around the house after that and looked out of all of my windows, but I didn't see anything strange. Then I went back up to my bedroom and it took a while before I was able to fall back asleep. The next day, I went all around my yard and looked for any evidence if it was there the night before. Couldn't really find anything though. After that day though, I never saw my next door neighbor again. He must have left without anybody noticing because a couple of months later, we just saw a for sale sign on the house and learned that the guy who lived there hadn't been there at all for months. I think it was him who I saw outside my bedroom window, but I don't know why he was there or what he was doing. I used to live by myself in an apartment in the city. From just about the very day I moved in, strange things started happening. I think it was like my third or fourth night there. I got a knock on my door at almost two o'clock in the morning. I opened it up and saw nobody there. I looked all around the hall, but there wasn't anybody in sight. And then, the next day, I saw on the floor outside my door was just a cover page of a magazine. The guy in the front of the magazine had his eyes poked out there was a large X over his face. I was confused and figured maybe there was a kid pranking me or something like that. Over the next few weeks, things like this continued to happen. Sometimes I would hear knocks coming from the other side of my wall in the living room. Other times I would get knocks on my front door or other weird types of mail showing up on my front step, things that I didn't ask for. During the day, I would occasionally see people coming or going from their apartments. The guy that lived next door to me was a younger looking adult and seemed like just an average guy. One day as I was leaving though, I thought I saw him approaching my door and when I stepped outside, he quickly walked back inside of his room and slammed the door when he saw me. I noticed that he appeared to be holding a magazine or something like that in his hand. And based on the evidence, I thought he might be behind the things that were happening. I wanted to get to the bottom of it, so I decided to go to his apartment and confront him. I wouldn't do it if I wasn't sure that he was behind it but at the time, I was about 90% sure. I was nervous, but I was tired of the weird things happening and wanted them to stop, so the next day I went over there. I knocked on his door, and he answered it, looking sort of confused. The guy had sort of curly hair and glasses, and he asked what I wanted. I told the man that I was his next door neighbor and pointed to my room. The guy said, yeah, I know. I told him how strange things were happening to me, and some of the noises that I was hearing sounded like they were coming from his room. I then mentioned how I had seen him look like he was about to put something in my front step. The 
man. Completely denied everything. I asked him if someone else lived with him who was maybe responsible. The man told me that he lived in his apartment by himself and had lived there for several years and didn't appreciate me accusing him of this stuff. He then suggested maybe I was just going crazy and then slammed the door in my face. I was pretty disappointed on how it went talking to him. I went back to my apartment feeling pretty embarrassed. I realized, though, that it wasn't a very good plan that I had to confront the guy. After that, the strange things kept continuing. I got a few more random pieces of paper at my front step, some with red X's on them, others with curse words probably directed at me. Then one night, I got a knock on my door very late at night, and of course nobody was there. Then, a few minutes later, I heard a distinct knocking coming from the other side of my wall that was 100% coming from the man's apartment. I was so angry that I stormed over and started pounding on his door. I kept knocking on the door and yelled for him to open up, but the man wouldn't answer. A few minutes later, the door across the hall opened and I saw a woman who was wearing pajamas come out. She looked like she had just woken up and she asked me what I was doing. I explained the situation to her and she told me that the guy who lives there's name was Mike and he had left the day before and was out of town for a week. When I heard this, I didn't know what to do felt bad for waking the woman up. I told her sorry, then went back to my apartment and went to bed. I decided after that to just move out. I stayed there for a few more weeks. The strange things happened up until about a week before I moved, and it stopped. I'm glad I don't live there anymore because it was very weird. I'm a 26-year-old female. Last year, I moved into my first house after living in an apartment for a few years. It was an older house in the neighborhood outside the city that I worked in. I really liked it a lot and was excited to have a front yard to plant flowers in and a back patio to sit out and enjoy nice days. As for the house itself, it had two floors and was a two-bedroom, two-bathroom house. When I moved in, I saw my next-door neighbor outside in the front yard. He watched me move my stuff in as my parents and friend helped me. At one point, he offered to help us. The guy said his name was Jerry and just came off as a little creepy to me. He was an older guy who for whatever reason just had a sort of scary look to him. We turned down his offer because we didn't need the help and the guy went back on his front porch and just watched us the rest of the time. The next day, when I was all moved in, I was by myself in my living room watching TV. I then heard a knock coming from my front door. I looked at the clock and saw that it was almost midnight. I looked out my window then and noticed Jerry was standing there. He was on my front step and then looked directly over to me and waved. I didn't know he could see me in the window and I wasn't planning on answering the door this late, but after I knew he saw me, I figured I had to. I walked over to the door and opened it. Jerry asked me if I was having a good time watching TV. I told him I was just about to go to bed and asked him why he was knocking on my door so late. Jerry said he wanted to invite me over for dinner the next night as a welcoming to me for moving in. I really didn't want to and told him that I was busy the next night. At the time I wasn't, but I didn't want to go to his house. He seemed disappointed, but then said maybe another time. I said yes, maybe another time just to be nice, and then he walked away. I then turned off all my lights and went to bed. I couldn't help but feel creeped out by this guy. The fact that he knew that I was watching TV meant that he had looked through my window and him knocking on my door at almost midnight was really weird. The next day, I went to work, and afterwards got food with one of my friends. I went home after that, and I would say it was about 7 p.m. or so when I arrived. When I got inside my house, I took off my shoes and began walking to my bedroom. Just then, I heard a noise coming from down the hall near the kitchen. There was definitely somebody inside my house. I heard the footsteps coming towards me in the hallway, and didn't want to stay there and wait to see who it was, so I ran back to my front door and didn't even bother putting my shoes back on. I ran outside and got to my car. Once I was inside my car, I backed out of the driveway. As I was starting to drive away, I saw my front door open to my house behind me. I saw Jerry exiting my house and sort of running back to his. I pulled over my car and called the police. I sat on the other side of the road and waited for them to arrive. When they did, they went to Jerry and confronted him. He admitted to breaking into my house and was caught. After that, I didn't have to worry about him anymore. A few months later, someone else moved in, 
and since then it's been great. 